Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Alexa. I post curly hair videos weekly. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a whole entire curly hair routine with only black owned products. And as you can tell, my hair looks a little crazy. This is fifth day hair. And I do still have some of the hair makeup gel from Curl Smith, so my hair is still a little bit copper. I'm going to be starting off by applying the shampoo in the shower. This is from Las Brands. Hey guys, so this is Alexa from the future. I'm actually editing this video right now and I just realized Lust Brands isn't black owned. It's actually a female owner and she is Middle Eastern. I still love their products so much so I like 100% recommend them. But there are other like shampoos and conditioners that are black owned. Um, it's actually going to be like from another product that I am going to be mentioning later on in this video. They're called the Wild Curl. So I'm just going to link their shampoo and conditioner down down below that way you guys can check them out if you this shampoo is really really good and I'm also going to be using this Mayao organics hair mask it's their rosemary mint strengthening hair mask and I am so excited to use this because I hear really amazing things about it it is going to be my first time using it so we're gonna go through that together and and then um, after I take off the hair mask I'm going to be using the Lust brands conditioner right here and yeah let's just get started I'm going to go wash my hair and then I'll come back to show you guys how I apply the deep conditioner and we can like learn about it together my hair is a little bit tangled so I'm just going to deep condition my hair I'm going to use the Mayao deep conditioner I'm going to section my hair into sections and just apply it through and then I'm going to leave it on my hair for about 20 minutes wow this is really thick just look at it it's a really thick deep conditioner doesn't even fall look wow that's crazy so let me just smell it mm, okay so it's like a really soft minty smell but it doesn't smell like super minty if i rate it on a scale from one through ten it's probably like a two i'm going to be applying this much deep conditioner as you guys can see this is so Thick. So before I apply it, I did wet my hair a little and I am wetting it while applying the deep conditioner just to make sure that my hair is saturated since I am doing this out of the shower. And I use my tangle teaser to detangle my hair and the process was so easy. I swear it was this deep conditioner that like softened up my hair. <music> Sometimes when I deep condition, I like doing this twirly thing where I just like twirl my curls around and I find that this just helps to train your curls. This mask felt so moisturizing on my hair. It also has biotin in it, which is really important for me right now since I am trying to grow out my hair. And some of the key ingredients that I see are rosemary, menta oil, honey, coconut oil, and it has a plethora of other ingredients in it and it's also 12 ounces and I did pay $10 for this. Now it's time to style my hair. I am just wetting it through because I do like styling my hair when it's super saturated and now I'm going to take some of the Camille Rose moisturizing milk and this was literally sliding down my hand and it just felt so slippery and nice and it smells so good it smells like vanilla After applying some of the Camille Rose, I'm putting some of this orange marmalade from Eco Slay, and this is like the start thing of this whole entire routine. I'm in love with this. It's literally amazing. I'm also using my Denman brush for this routine just to get super frizz free and define curls today and I'm doing my Denman brush technique. I do have a whole video on that so I'll put a card above 
the Camille Rose moisturizing milk was so moisturizing and it was like a medium thick consistency when I was putting it on my hair my hair softened up immediately and some of the key ingredients are avocado rice bran castor seed macadamia nut green tea rice rose hip oil and also almost fova and I don't know this was like just an amazing product I can't believe this is my first time using it the moisturizing milk did cost me $15 and it comes in an 8 fluid ounce bottle. So let's chat about this orange marmalade from Eco Slave really quick. This is literally the star of the show. It is amazing. I did purchase the 4 ounce bottle but they do have 3 different sizes on their website. I am going to be getting the 16 ounce bottle. I did pay, um, let's see, I did pay $10 for the 4 ounce bottle but their 16 ounce does cost $24. So I will be getting that really soon. This product also doesn't have glue glycerin in it which is perfect for the summer we all know glycerin gives us frizz depending on like what humidity we're in and also another thing that I do want to mention about Eco Slay is that they do recommend to put their products in the refrigerator just because they are so natural the owner of this company to this day she still makes all of her products in her kitchen so um there is like a little time you do need to wait for the products to come I had to wait a little over two weeks to get my products just because she makes all of the batches when you're ordered So today we're trying out a new thing. I'm going to dry my hair with my bangs like this to the front. <laughs> it's probably going to be a little bit uncomfortable while I'm air drying. But I'm just a little curious how it's going to turn out. Because like sometimes I just want my hair here just like to the front. So let's test this out. And yeah, let's just look like this for about two hours. So I'll be back once my hair is dry. But look at how juicy my hair looks. going to be separating my curl clumps and I'm going to be using this oil from the wild curl I love this oil so much it moisturizes my hair a lot I swear every time I use this my hair stays moisturized for days I am taking four droplets and also this brand is London based the owner is African American she is so nice and yeah I do think this oil might be sold out right now so hopefully they do bring it back in stock soon but they also have a shampoo and conditioner that I will be linking down below that way if you guys want to check them out you guys can go take a look so my hair is still a little bit wet I'm just gonna let it air dry and then I'll be back finally dry and this is what it's looking like so I'm obsessed with these like products and how my hair turned out it is so defined so moisturized soft and shiny so I definitely do recommend all of the products that I use today they are amazing and my hair just feels so like like brought back to life thank you so much for watching today's video and if you did make it to the end don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it honestly helps me out so much and if you aren't subscribed don't forget to subscribe that way when I do post a next video Video, you'll be updated I post videos every single week and yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you guys and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week bye